एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Let me share a fact with you. The glass is manufactured with the help of sand. Yes, glass is being manufactured with the help of sand. Do you want to know the process? I'll tell you the process. Watch the video carefully till the end. Welcome to S Chand Academy and I am Anmol Bhatia. In this part of the video we'll be learning about the glass manufacturing techniques and the glass cutting techniques. For detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. This is the first part of the video in which we will be learning about the basics of glass manufacturing techniques and the glass cutting techniques. Firstly, let us understand that what is a glass. So, glass is basically a non-crystalline and amorphous solid that is often transparent and has a uh, widespread technological or decorative usages in the industry so for uh, technological usage or for the practical usage or for some creative or decorative usage in industry we use a glass which is a non crystalline and an amorphous solid glass can be used in the window panes or it can be used for the table wares the process of making the glass involves the heating yes the glass is primarily made by heating the ordinary sand until it melts so we generally heat the sand and uh, after heating the sand the sand will melt and turns into the liquid state now the sand melts at the higher temperature which is at a range of 1700 degrees celsius so in the glass plant what happens the sand is mixed with the waste glass and limestone is also mixed there which is called as calcium carbonate and also soda ash is being mixed and it is heated in a particular furnace so we have a sand and that sand is mixed with waste glass limestone and soda ash and that heating is done in a furnace the heating temperature the melting temperature is 1700 degree celsius then this soda reduces the sand's melting point which helps to save energy and time during the manufacturing of this glass but the major drawback of adding the limestone is that uh, it would dissolve in water so this particular thing we add soda and we have added the limestone limestone uh, adding this limestone has a um, a drawback uh, which is by adding this limestone to the mixture it produces a kind of glass that would dissolve in water so the end product is basically called as a soda lime silica glass and it is ordinary glass that we'll be using in our domestic applications so what happens in case of the glass manufacturing technique we used a sand and in in case of sand we need to melt that sand and we have to add certain uh, other products into it so that it can be used for the usage then comes the glass cutting procedures uh, the the major uh, question that the majority of the people ask that how do we cut the glass so someone says that we have a diamond cutter for it or the glass is being cut by glass so we'll learn about this process now in this uh, process majorly we basically cut the glass with the help of the glass cutter and the principle that is being used here is the scribe and break principle so we scribe on the surface of the glass and generally we break the surface of the glass with the help of breakage we have two uh, categories or two tools which are uh, used for this particular operation or the glass cutting operation number 1 is the wheel cutting or the glass cutter so we have a glass cutter in in case of a glass cutter we generally scribe that uh, particular roller on the surface and generally we break the glass and lastly we have the carbon dioxide laser cutting so in this part of the video we'll be learning about the glass cutter and in the later part we'll be learning about the carbon dioxide laser cutting so wheel cutter or a glass cutter 
is having a, a sharp pointed rod iron and there is a diamond which acts as a cutting material for cutting the glass. So here we have a diamond and generally with the help of the diamond roller we scribe on the surface of glass and ultimately we break that particular surface to cut the glass. Herein uh, if I talk about the tool, the tool particularly have a wheel which is used to scribe on the surface of the glass. Then we have the holders or the grips and lastly there is a ball which is used for breaking the glass. So what happens we have a particular case of the wheel that may has the diamond um, point or it can have a tungsten carbide material. So the role is to cut the glass plate with the dimensions easily because it has a roller on the surface so it will cut the dimensions easily on the surface and the, the roller would have the material which can be a tungsten carbide which is of 4 to 6 mm length and the shape is V shape that is particularly called as the hone and the second thing is the grippers which is used to grip the surface of glass and when we uh, certainly pluck the surface so it will remove the glass which is required so after making the marking the in the glass the uh, with the help of that cutting wheel the glass cutter has to be inserted inside the corners of the glass and tilted so that it will break without with respect to the mark that we have created with the help of that scribber and lastly we have that roller which is there on the end let's say we want to cut a circular section on the surface of the glass so for that we have that particular tool which is used uh, in case of uh, which is similar to the compass so with the help of the compass uh, type tool we can scribe on the surface and we can break the internal part of the glass with the help of the roller so this breakage is done with the help of tapping the glass piece if any uh, irregularities is present on the surface or the corners which are there uh, on the surface of glass that can be removed so this is the basic operation of the glass cutting. The video that you are seeing on the screen is the operation of the glass cutting wherein the operator is using a scribe uh, which is used to scribe on the surface of the glass and ultimately when uh, the operator uh, pushes the glass and tilts the surface the glass is being cut. So with this we come to the end of the first part of the video wherein we learned about uh, the basic operation of preparation of a glass, what components are added in preparation of a glass and what are the techniques uh, which is used to cut the glass. In the next part of the video we will be learning about the other operations which are used to cut the glass namely the carbon dioxide or the laser cutting. So if you want to watch that video, the link of the video is there in the description box. For detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.